This is the Sunshine Cathedral perspective. National Catholic Magazine Newsmaker of 2023 is Janine Gramic, the LGBTQ plus Catholic advocate. There are many ways in which the Catholic Church of 2023, now more than 10 years into Pope Francis's papacy, looks very different from the Catholic Church of 2013. But this year we have seen extraordinary, if tentative, movement in one area in particular, how the Catholic Church includes and ministers to its LGBTQ plus members. Things have happened in the last 12 months that would have once seemed the work of a novelist untethered from reality. In February, days before a trip to the Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan, Pope Francis condemned the continuing criminalization of homosexuality in some African countries. However, over the past five decades of American Catholic experience, perhaps no single person has had the kind of impact on our LGBTQ plus community members as Loretto sister, Janine Gramic. She has borne the scars of abuse by church authorities with uncommon dignity. When the Vatican in 2000 pressured Gramic's first religious congregation, the School Sisters of Notre Dame, to order her uh, to cease speaking publicly about her LGBTQ plus ministry, she simply moved to another congregation and again kept going. This October, Francis and Gramic met in person at the Vatican. Gramic made sure to alter the arrangement of the room to slide her chair a little closer to the Pope's. We cannot say exactly what has made Francis more open and aware this year of the needs of LGBTQ plus Catholics, but certainly that sister scooching her chair forward has had an outsized impact. Um, it, I don't know if her, she might have just been trying to get a little more comfortable, I don't know, but uh, body language is a thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and whether you were beneath someone or over someone or next to someone or across from them or eye to eye contact or not, these things do set up dynamics. And uh, so maybe she was maybe she was using a little psychology, mm -hmm. or maybe she just didn't like where her chair was and she needed to you know move it an inch one way or the other. I don't know, but I do know that Sister Gramic is a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, I was reading her and watching her and following her in the '90s before they tried to you know silence her. Wow! And uh, she was she was published <clears throat> in in, uh, in books and uh, she uh, uh, of course they don't they don't officially let women preach in the Catholic mm -hmm. Church, but she had a message, and uh, it was just one of love and affirmation. Uh, and so I've always loved her. I'm glad that without without really being ugly at all about anything or mean or, or too contentious, she just won't be silenced. Oh. You won't let these people let me speak. I'll just go join another group, another order. Um, and just keeps doing her thing. And it's all out of love. And I think she's a model of how you can, with dignity and grace, uh, stand up for what's right and, and inclusion and, and uh, minister to people who are marginalized or, or, uh, or forgotten or left out or, or, or downtrodden or whatever. And how she's just been faithful and kind and loving throughout and indefatigable. I think she's a role model for all of us. Oh, I would agree with that 100%. And I just, in my head, I played this little conversation out between a little chair scooch and the mm -hmm. Pope of, uh, we got things to talk about and we got things to do, so let's get going. Mm -hmm. You and I don't have much time left on this earth, so let's get these things done. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I just both favorite pastoral, both uh, loving. Uh, I've enjoyed watching her ministry over the years as well. And I think she's done a lot of good uh, for so many aspects of society. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think her work is done yet, mm -mm. by far. I when I heard about the scooching over, yeah. I thought about um, one of the old um, analogies that people used to say: um, if there's not a seat for you at the table, bring your own chair. Mm -hmm. Or more recently, build a bigger table. Mm. So for the sister to realize that position means something. The closer you get to the powerful person, the more likely you're going to get a little bit something out of it. Um, conferences are done quite often on round tables to make sure that there's no one at the head of the table. Mm -hmm. But this woman knew who the head of her church was yeah. and she was going to make sure that she got as close to him as yeah. possible to make sure that her voice was heard. And right. I love it. And it could be, uh, even if neither one was aware of it, it could be devotional. Uh, mm. That's the Pope. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Who wouldn't want to I want to be as church close church. to, you know, yeah. uh, the Holy Father. I yeah. want the blessing of being in his presence. I mean, uh, it might have just been uh, as simple as that is, it's the Pope. I'm, I'm the Pope. <laughs> it's the Pope. You know, so security's I not here to move me back. <laughs> so I don't know, but I know she's a great person. Yeah, and uh, I wish her so much uh, joy on her journey and continued success. And I will say that I see, 
I'm old, but not as old as you. I love so you. So I am. Uh, I'm from. I'm a Vatican II baby. So I didn't have any uh, experience of the of the complete head to toe penguiny looking nun mm -hmm. with the with the ruler and the and the sister said it. It was the law, and they were you know. I didn't have that. I have known so many th just radical almost nuns uh, just doing this kind of amazing work, being so inclusive, saying out loud, I don't agree with this or that about, uh, thing about my church. I had nun professors uh, in seminary. I had priests also, but they were in a Protestant seminary because they weren't allowed to teach in Catholic schools mm -hmm. because of their stances. So they just kept teaching it. They found another congregation. Mm -hmm. and um, But no, nuns, I, I've known so many nuns like this that they're just dyn dynamos, powerhouses, uh, indefatigable, uh, fearless, and uh, so I, you know, the old, uh, you know, the old uh, bells of St. Mary's nuns. I don't know those nuns. Mm. Uh, the Sister Grandma kind of nun. I, I've known dozens, and God bless them. They are, they are making a difference in the world.